In this video, I'm going to show you how to add three different types of images to a Flutter app. First one's gonna be an asset image, and that just means it's a image file that's stored within the app itself. The second one is a network image, and this is also similar to the cached network image. The difference is that the cached one is going to be cached, so you can see when this reloads. The network image is large, so it does take a little bit to load, and the cache network image was basically already displayed and it didn't need that full reload. So we're going to start by adding a asset image. First, we need to put the image in our code here. So we're gonna create a new folder and this will be called assets. Actually, we're gonna create another folder inside that called images. And then within this images folder is where we're going to drop our image and I'll just drag this Rhodes logo image in. So this is the image that we're going to display. Now to get these asset images compiled, we need to go to our pubspec.yaml and down here we're going to add an assets and then we're going to tell it where our assets are, which is this new folder we just created. And we wanna make sure we're including this trailing slash here because that will include everything in this images folder. The reason I have it as asset images is because there are other types of assets you might wanna to add to your app later, such as fonts or different other types of files. And you don't necessarily need to start with assets, but this is pretty much a standard that most people use. Uh, if you didn't, have assets folder here and you just had an images folder here you would still use assets here and then you would just use images like that and once you have this you're going to run flutter pub get and then we can go back over to the main and we have a simple scaffold set up here with just a column in it and now what we can do is use the image widget and do an asset image and then we simply need to pass in the path to that image so if you Right click here, you can copy the relative path and that will be the path that we need. This is no longer a const, so we will have to remove that. And if you save that, you'll see now the image is loaded here. However, if you wanna make that a bit smaller, we can change the height or the width. So if we change the height to 100, it will resize the height and width. There are several properties you can look at on the asset image. All that stuff you can kind of go through and make it look as you like. What I'm going to do is just add a little bit of padding and center this. For the padding, I'm actually just going to put a size box up there and then we're gonna center this entire column. And now that's centered. If you wanna make a rounded image, you can actually just wrap the image itself in a clip oval. So we'll wrap that with this clip oval widget and that is just going to simply clip the image down to a circle and lastly we will just put a label here now we're going to move on to our network image so we'll add a little bit more space there and we can similarly create an image dot network this is going to take the url of an image of a network image so I do have an image over here which this is a pretty high resolution image so it is a larger image but this URL here is going to directly load that image. So we're gonna put that in right there. If we save this, you'll see that image is displayed, but there's a couple ways we can make this better. So you'll notice if you reload this, it's gonna go blank white for a second and then come back. And that's because the image is being reloaded. So within the network image, we can add a loading builder. For the loading builder, there is a loading progress, which will be null if the image is completely loaded. So we can add an if statement here that if the loading progress is null, then that means the image is loaded and we're just going to return the child, which is going to be this child here, which is the image. If the image isn't fully loaded, then we're going to return a circle progress indicator. And we wanna make sure we center that because if we don't center it, then it's going to kind of like a long stretched out version. And if we rerun this now, you'll see we had a little bit of a loading animation there and then the image is loaded. Another thing that we wanna handle is if there is an error. So if we change this URL here, this image no longer exists. And if you wanted to display some sort of error there, you can do that right within this network image as well and just using an error builder. So let me drop in this code here, which is the error builder. And basically it's saying, if there is an error, then we're gonna return an icon that is an icon image of 
an error. And if we reload this, you'll see we have this red error alert here when there is an error in the loading of the image. We're going to just label this as well. If you wanted the loading animation to also be within the same size of this, now that we added that label down there, you can simply wrap this whole network image in a sized box and then just give it the height of the image, which in this case is going to be 200. That is one quick way to kind of keep that loading animation centered. So that covers the network image. The final one is going to be that cache network image. And the benefit of a cache network image is it's not going to have to fully reload the image every time. So you can see this is loading kind of slow now, but it is the same image. So you can imagine if you had multiple pages and you were going back and forth, it would kind of reload this every single time. We can use this package here called the cache network image and it's basically a replacement to the image.network. The properties are slightly different, but ultimately you get the same thing. You just give a image URL and then you can also pass the error in the placeholder. So let's go ahead and add this with this line here. Once that is added, we can come down here and we're gonna do the same thing and add a size box with a height of 200. And then the child of this will be a cached network image. And this will have a image URL, which we're going to set to the exact same image URL that we're using in our network image. At this point, you could save it and it should actually load up that image. However, actually, since we added this new package, we do need to completely stop this and rerun it. Once this reloads though, you'll see we have the cache network image and the network image. And if we reload this again, you can kind of see this one takes a little bit longer to reload. The cache network image also has a fade in effect, which you'll notice it kind of fades in. So that is set at like 500 milliseconds as well. So if you remove the fade in time or the fade in duration and set that to zero, you'll see it looks almost closer to instant. Um, this image obviously is taking a long time to load. So that is exactly why, depending on your network speed or if the image is kind of yeah, taking a long time like it just did. That's a perfect example of why the cache network image is a better option. The last thing we'll add here though is just that error widget, which is basically what we had above. You can add the placeholder widget as well. However, I've noticed that if you add this placeholder widget, even if it's a circle progress indicator, I've noticed that it does still load that while the image is kind of fading in. So to me that looks worse, but maybe you want that and that's an option. I will leave it without. I think just the fade in is enough. The error widget though we didn't really test, so let's go ahead and test that. And I will show you one thing with this package that is a bit annoying. It appears as though the app is crashing, right? Or that the app is completely freezing because you'll notice that this is no longer loading. So the whole app is kind of frozen. And if you had other interactions, actually nothing really works because we do have an error here, which is being paused on this exception. And the exception is of course that this image URL can't be found or loaded. And if you go to the cache network image package, you can actually see if you read this FAQ that it's kind of, uh, this is kind of a known uh, issue, I guess, or a known thing that will happen with this package. So if you do want to ignore these issues, you can uncheck this uncaught exceptions and then run it again. And at this point, it will kind of ignore that, that uncaught exception because really what was happening is it was just an uncaught exception and that was pausing our simulator here. If you did have a bad link like this and you were running this in production, it would work as expected. So we'll remove that one and you'll see the image comes back. If you have any questions about this video or images in Flutter, go ahead and comment them down below and I will do my best to answer them.